Section. Introduction. In this section, we explore the concept of modularization, which is central to computer science. For instance, deep neural networks are made up of basic layers that act as modular units. Similarly, modern generative models, like diffusion and autoregressive models, consist of fundamental generative steps, each executed by a deep neural network. By breaking down complex functions into these simple components, we can create more sophisticated systems by combining these modules. We propose to treat a generative model itself as a module to develop more advanced generative models. Specifically, we introduce a generative model that calls upon other generative models of the same type within itself. This recursive approach leads to a framework with complex structures that show self-similarity at various levels, similar to fractals in mathematics. Fractals are patterns that repeat themselves and are created using a recursive rule known as a generator. Our framework mirrors this by recursively using generative models, resulting in self-similar patterns. We name our framework the fractal generative model. We observe that fractals or near fractals are common in biological neural networks, with studies showing that the brain structure often follows a modular approach, building larger networks from smaller ones. Additionally, natural data frequently displays fractal patterns, from large structures like clouds and trees to tiny ones like crystals and proteins. Natural images can also be seen as fractals, as they consist of smaller images that may follow different distributions. Thus, an image generative model can be made up of modules that are also image generative models. Our fractal generative model draws inspiration from the fractal characteristics found in biological networks and natural data. The generator, which defines the recursive rule for generation, is a crucial part of our design. For example, we can use an autoregressive model as the generator, where each autoregressive model consists of modules that are themselves autoregressive models. Each parent block creates multiple child blocks, leading to a fractal like structure with self similar patterns. We test this fractal model on a challenging task, generating images pixel by pixel. Current methods that model pixel sequences often struggle with likelihood estimation and generation quality since images lack a clear sequential order. However, pixel by pixel generation is important for various data types, including molecular structures and biological networks. Our fractal framework shows strong performance in this task generating images pixel by pixel while achieving accurate likelihood estimation and high quality. We hope our results will inspire further research into fractal generative models, paving the way for new advancements in generative modeling. In the next section, we discuss related work. Modularization is a key idea in computer science and deep learning, simplifying complex functions into basic units. One of the first modular neural architectures was GoogleNet, which introduced the Inception module. This idea has evolved, leading to widely used units like the residual block and the transformer block. Recently, in generative modeling, researchers have modularized diffusion models to model continuous data effectively. A notable approach that applies modular units recursively is FractalNet, which builds deep neural networks using a simple expansion rule. While FractalNet shares our idea of using modular units to create fractal structures, it differs in two main ways. First, FractalNet uses small convolutional layers as its modular unit, while we utilize entire generative models, representing a different level of modularization. Second, FractalNet is primarily designed for classification tasks, producing low-dimensional outputs, whereas our approach leverages fractal patterns to generate a vast number of outputs such as millions of image pixels, showcasing the potential of fractal designs for more complex tasks. Section Summary In this section, we introduce the concept of a fractal generative model, which recursively invokes generative models within themselves, creating complex, self-similar architectures akin to fractals found in nature and biological neural networks. This framework enhances generative modeling, particularly for challenging tasks like pixel-by-pixel -pixel image generation, by leveraging modularization to achieve high-quality outputs and accurate likelihood estimations. Section. Fractal Generative Models. 
In this section, we explore fractal generative models, which allow us to build more complex generative models from simpler, atomic modules through a recursive process. We begin by discussing the motivation and intuition behind these models. Fractals are intricate patterns created from simple, repeating rules known as generators. Different generators can create various natural patterns, like clouds and tree branches, and are connected to complex systems such as biological neural networks and chaotic dynamics. Formally, a fractal generator specifies how to generate new data based on previous outputs. For instance, a generator can create a fractal by repeatedly using similar generators, leading to an exponential increase in outputs from a linear number of levels. This characteristic makes fractal models effective for high-dimensional data with fewer generator levels. We propose a fractal generative model that employs atomic generative modules as parametric generators, allowing a neural network to learn the recursive rules from data. By merging the exponential output growth of fractals with neural modules, we can model high-dimensional non-sequential data. Next, we illustrate how to use autoregressive models as fractal generators. Our aim is to model the joint distribution of many random variables, but using a single autoregressive model for this is computationally challenging. To overcome this, we use a divide and conquer approach. We treat an autoregressive model as a modular unit that models a probability distribution. This allows us to create a more powerful model by stacking multiple autoregressive models. Assuming each model handles a manageable sequence length, we can partition the joint distribution into subsets. Each subset is then modeled by the autoregressive model at the next level, and this process continues recursively. This strategy enables us to efficiently manage the joint distribution of many variables using fewer levels of autoregressive models, significantly reducing computational costs while capturing the hierarchical structure of the data. To illustrate this concept, we will implement our approach in the context of pixel-by-pixel -pixel image generation, showcasing the challenges and significance of this task. Although we focus on image generation, our divide-and-conquer architecture can be adapted to other data types as well. Section Summary In this section, we introduce fractal generative models that recursively build complex generative frameworks from simpler atomic modules specifically using autoregressive models to efficiently handle high-dimensional data distributions. By employing a divide-and-conquer strategy, we demonstrate how this approach can significantly reduce computational costs while capturing the hierarchical structure of the data, exemplified through pixel-by-pixel -pixel image generation. Section. Pixel-by-pixel -pixel image generation. In this section, we address the challenge of pixel-by-pixel -pixel image generation which is difficult due to the complexity and high dimensionality of image data. Our goal is to create models that can manage numerous pixels while learning the intricate patterns and relationships among them. This task has become a benchmark in generative modeling, where many existing methods struggle with generating satisfactory images, primarily focusing on likelihood estimation. Pixel-by-pixel -pixel generation is part of a larger category of high-dimensional generative problems. These problems involve generating data element by element, but unlike long sequence modeling, they deal with non sequential data. For instance, structures like molecular configurations and biological neural networks are high dimensional but do not follow a sequential order. By choosing pixel by pixel image generation for our fractal framework, we aim to tackle a key issue in computer vision and showcase how our approach can model high dimensional non sequential data with inherent structures. Regarding our architecture, each autoregressive model takes the output from the previous generator and produces multiple outputs for the next one. We input an image, which can be a patch, split it into smaller patches, and embed these to create a sequence for a transformer model. The transformer uses the previous generator's output as a separate token, combined with the image tokens, to generate outputs for the next level generator. We set the sequence length of the first generator to 256, dividing images into 16 by 16 patches. The second level generator models each patch and further divides them recursively. To control computational costs, we reduce the width and number of transformer blocks for smaller patches, as they are easier to model. 
At the final level, we use a lightweight transformer to model the RGB channels of each pixel and apply a cross entropy loss on the predictions. The configurations and costs for each transformer at different levels are detailed in our tables. Notably, our fractal design allows us to model a 256 by 256 image at only twice the cost of a 64 by 64 image. We also explore different autoregressive designs, focusing on two variants, a raster order, GPT-like causal transformer and a random order, BERT-like bidirectional transformer. Both follow the autoregressive principle of next token prediction, each with unique advantages and disadvantages, which we discuss further in our results section. We refer to the fractal framework using the AR variant as fractal AR and the MAR variant as fractal MAR. In relation to scale space autoregressive models, we note that while these models predict tokens scale by scale using a single autoregressive model, our fractal framework employs a divide and conquer strategy to recursively model raw pixels with generative modules. This leads to a significant difference in computational complexity. For instance, generating a 256 by 256 image requires a massive attention matrix in scale space models, while our method focuses on small patches, resulting in a much smaller attention matrix and making our approach significantly more efficient. Lastly, we differentiate our method from previous long sequence modeling approaches, which treat pixel by pixel generation as a one dimensional sequence. Instead, we view such data as sets of multiple elements and use a divide and conquer strategy to model smaller subsets. This approach is inspired by the near fractal structure of data, where images consist of sub images and molecules consist of sub molecules. Therefore, Generative models for this type of data should be composed of generative modules themselves. Section Summary In this section, we address the challenges of pixel-by-pixel -pixel image generation by proposing a fractal framework that recursively models high-dimensional non-sequential data, allowing for efficient handling of complex structures. Our approach significantly reduces computational costs compared to traditional methods, enabling the generation of high-resolution images while treating data as sets rather than sequences. Section Implementation In this section, we briefly outline the training and generation process of our fractal image generation framework. For more details and hyperparameters, we refer to the implementation section. Our fractal model generates images one pixel at a time, using a depth-first approach through the fractal structure as shown in our illustrations. We utilize a random order generation method from MAR as an example. The first level autoregressive model captures the relationships between 16 by 16 image patches, generating outputs for the next level based on the known patches. The second level model then focuses on the relationships between 4 by 4 patches within each 16 by 16 patch. Similarly, the third level model examines the relationships between individual pixels within each 4x4 patch. Finally, the last level model samples the actual RGB values from the predicted RGB outputs. We conduct extensive experiments on the ImageNet dataset at resolutions of 64x64 and 256x256. Our evaluation includes both unconditional and class conditional image generation assessing various aspects of the model such as likelihood estimation, fidelity, diversity, and overall quality. We report metrics like negative log likelihood, Frechette inception distance, inception score, precision, recall, and visualization results for a thorough evaluation of our fractal framework. Our method can generate high-quality, high-resolution images in a pixel-by-pixel -pixel manner, averaging 1.29 seconds per image. We begin by evaluating our method's likelihood estimation capability on unconditional ImageNet generation at 64 by 64 resolution. We compare the performance of our framework with different numbers of fractal levels. Modeling the entire pixel sequence with a single autoregressive model is computationally expensive and impractical. In contrast, our three-level fractal model is more efficient and improves likelihood estimation by better capturing the hierarchical structure of images. We also compare our method with other likelihood-based models, showing that our fractal generative model achieves a negative log likelihood of 3.14 bits per dimension, 
outperforming the previous best autoregressive model significantly and remaining competitive with advanced diffusion methods. For class conditional image generation at 256 by 256 resolution, we report standard metrics such as FID, inception score, precision, and recall. Our fractal MAR-H achieves an FID of 6.15 and an inception score of 348.9, with an average throughput of 1.29 seconds per image. While our method shows strong inception score and precision, indicating high fidelity and detail, its FID and recall are relatively lower, suggesting less diversity in generated samples. We believe this is due to the complexity of modeling nearly 200,000 pixels individually. We also observe a positive trend in scaling, increasing the model size from 186 million to 848 million parameters significantly improves FID and recall. We anticipate that further scaling could enhance these metrics even more. Unlike models that depend on tokenizers, our method avoids reconstruction errors from tokenization, indicating potential for even greater performance gains with larger models. Section summary. In this section, we describe our fractal image generation framework, which generates images pixel by pixel using a hierarchical autoregressive model that captures interdependencies at multiple levels. Our extensive experiments on the ImageNet dataset demonstrate the framework's efficiency and effectiveness in likelihood estimation and high-quality image generation, achieving competitive performance metrics while maintaining a fast throughput. Section. Conditional pixel by pixel prediction. In this section, we examine how well our method performs in conditional pixel-by-pixel -pixel prediction through various image editing tasks. We provide examples such as inpainting, outpainting, uncropping, and class conditional editing. Our method successfully predicts masked pixels by using information from the unmasked areas. It also captures high-level meanings from class labels, as seen when we replace a cat's face with a dog's face by using the dog's class label. These results show that our method effectively predicts unknown data based on known conditions. Moreover, by generating data one element at a time, our approach is more understandable for humans compared to other methods like diffusion models or generative models that work in hidden spaces. This clearer generation process helps us grasp how data is created and allows for better control and interaction during generation. Such features are crucial for applications in visual content creation, architectural design, and drug discovery. Our encouraging results emphasize the potential of our method for controllable and interactive generation, opening up avenues for future research in this area.